it's been challenging. Screaming by in your car at 60 miles an hour doesn't allow drivers any real chance to appreciate what's happening on I-90's old express lanes. Things have been going pretty well. The new link light rail blue line will have to move from a fixed portion of bridge deck to one that floats. That meant engineers had to come up with a safe way to allow the tracks to flex. We had to invent this system. The rails will also have to deal with seasonal changes in Lake Washington, like water level changes and winds that can push waves, and all of those make for an always moving bridge deck. It's sort of Sound Transit's moonshot, which is a little overused term this week, but it is. It's never been done before. Having been lucky enough to be here when this is going on and lead the engineering on this, it's just been really exciting. This is their solution. It's called a track bridge, and it allows the tracks to pivot along the joints where the fixed bridge connects to the pontoons. This has never been done anywhere else in the world. When it's complete, there will be eight track bridges, two on each side in either direction. Sound Transit says they're just about a third of the way complete building the eastbound rail lines. Obviously still quite a bit of work left to do there. But even when that's finished, they've got to duplicate it and build the westbound lines next. Also, the train tracks are not connected directly to the bridge deck. Instead, they're placed on special pads that float the rails above the surface. There'll be about 9,000 of them across the bridge deck when it's complete. And when everything is all said and done, Sound Transit says your commute from Redmond to SeaTac Airport will feel like you're floating on water. Heavy construction on this is done in 2021. We then turn it over to the systems engineers that have about 18 months to finish up the overhead wire, the systems and all that. That leads us to an opening in 2023. On Mercer Island, Steve Kiggins, Q13 News.